We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. Here's Javier Baez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1. One, one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Garcia has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. So in now for Chicago, Jason Hayward, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Nope. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Starting to get a bit chilly here tonight, 57 degrees at game time. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And Hayward has a base hit. That is good. Stepping in now, Chris Bryant. Ah, oh, he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting four. And now Wilson Contreras and a fastball misses their ball four. The next Cub up, Anthony Rizzo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Anthony Rizzo. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. This year against right-handed pitching, Rizzo brings in a batting average resting just under 320 and will look to inch closer to that mark with a base hit here. These are the type of hitters that absolutely frustrate a pitching staff and a pitching coach. He's not trying to do a ton of damage, but he's certainly going to put the ball in play and be a pest the entire season. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, and they get the force at home. Whatever works is the side is retired. Stepping up now, Lorenzo Kane. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Liner towards second, but an atom ball right to him for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. The 2 2. Hit out towards second. And that's the second out. In is Christian Yelich. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. shot down the line but a foul ball as it holds it two and two Darvish pauses here's his offering skied into straightaway right Hayward has a read on it and that retires the side Standing in, Ian Happ. He'll get us started in the top of the second. A 1-1. 
Ole swung on and missed for strike number two. Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. This is gathered in out there by Garcia for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And standing in now, the power-hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Hitter scout now. Here's the two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Standing in now, Hugh Darvish. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Into the box, Javier Baez. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Two men on, two out, and that will bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. A one-two pitch. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Garcia has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Striding forward now, the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Keston Hiura. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Now the one and one pitch. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Next for Milwaukee, Omar Narvaez. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. And that misses for ball four. So here's Abisayu Garcia, head to head numbers with you, Darvish. The pitcher's own to me is a paltry one for 11. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Two on here with one man out. And that'll bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. At the plate now, Justin Smoke. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. So now the Brewers pitcher, Freddie Peralta. He could really open this lead up early if he can deliver here with the bases loaded. Line drive to left. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Lorenzo Kane. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ready for another chance? Chris Bryant, he reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. 
And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Smoke is in his tracks now. Yeah, that's out number two. Stepping up to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Now the three and two pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. Yelich is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Here's Brock Holt now. He'll begin things here against Hugh Darvish. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. A ball and two strikes now. Here's Kipnis now, the second baseman. And there's one down now. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up Christian Yelich. One out, nobody on. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in at the plate steps Keston Huron. Hit in the air to shallow center. In comes the center fielder. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Throw into second, and a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. To the plate now, Omar Narvaez. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, high and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Hayward to the track, but it's over his head, and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. So now to the plate, Avisail Garcia. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Digging in, Kyle Schwarber as we begin the top of the fourth. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on. And get oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Back up the middle. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Oh, the good curveball there, and it's three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. He pops him up. 
toward the left side of the infield. Sogard over to his right, and the inning is over. At the plate, Eric Sogard, one for one after a single this first time up. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Digging in the switch hitter, Justin Smoke, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. The next 3-2. Rounded back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Now batting. No pitcher. Freddie. Stepping in now, Freddie Peralta. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. The center fielder. Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Lorenzo Kane. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Darvish pauses, ready with the 1 1 pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. The throw to the plate, and he is safe at the plate. It's now a 4 0 game. Now batting. Not your stop. Into the box, Brock Holt. And he hits the corner with that one, 2 and 2. Brock Holt now with a full count. Well, his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider. But tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate. Three. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Your Victor Caratini will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher Chicago. here. Number seven, Victor Caratini. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Caratini stands 6 1 and hits from both sides of the plate. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Hit sharply on the ground, and that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. The back, number nine. Into the box now, Javier Baez. Cubs shortstop with a three and one count. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one. Three and two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that is down as that could be two bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Now back, right fielder, Jason Hayward. Standing in now, Jason Hayward. Hit to third. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Now in the box, Chris Bryant, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Wilson Contreras will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Two and two to the Cubs catcher.
down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Number 44, Anthony Lugo. The 3 1. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. So the bases are loaded here, two men gone. And next, it'll be the left handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. The set and the 1 1. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. High and deep to right. Yelich going back at the track. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Trevor McGill gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Bottom of the inning now. And here's Christian Yelich now. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. The one two. Oh, that's out. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The 3 2 one more time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Baez fields it cleanly, and the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And that'll bring up Keston Dura. He's one for two in this one. Hits are even right now at five aside. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. A bouncer up the middle. Baez ranging to his right. Crow gets him. Two down. Digging in now for the Brewers. Omar Narvaez. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And he chased it in the dirt. Up with it, Contreras. And that ends the inning. Now batting, Ian Happ. He'll look to get things going here in the Cubs' half of the sixth. Happ with a 2-1 and one count now. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. Winning his turn on deck next is Jason Kipnis. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did. And it's ball four. So the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now batter. Ready for another shot now. Jason Kipnis. A hit in two tries for him so far. Swing hard liner to left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Nico Horner will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. The 1-1. Hey, 
hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. 2-2, two -two, here it is. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and his side is retired. Alec Mills enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 30, Alec Mills. So striding forward now, Avisail Garcia. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1-1. One -one. Taken, strike two. High in the air out to center field. Half is under this one. One down. Here's Eric Sogard. One for two. He singled and grounded out so far. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. Well, he's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field. Now this will rattle up against the wall. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The first baseman, Justin. At the plate now, Justin Smoke. And it's fouled away. Sogard, the runner at second with one away. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Number eight, Ryan Wall. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. Now that in now Lorenzo Kane softly hit down to third likely no shot at two the tag gets one return throw is in time how about that they do turn two and it gets him out of the inning David Phelps is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven number 41 New inning set to get underway. Stepping in, Jason Hayward. He was a ground out victim last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. Counts even to Hayward. Two balls and two strikes. The 2 2. on the ground and right at the shifted infielders and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out here's Chris Bryant now it was a walk in his last trip the 2 1 home drives it out to deep right center field Yelich on the move he gets there and that's the second out now the Cubs four hole hitter Wilson Contreras he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up and you can live with punching out with the bases empty but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position you cannot go down not putting the ball in play too much on the line too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouled off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. 
too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact you know taking you inside the mind of a batter right here you can't get an auto swing mode you still have to control the strike zone and that'll get down for a base hit so Anthony Rizzo will have a chance to bat this inning following the base hit now batter, the first base Anthony Rizzo. stepping in now Anthony Rizzo and that one misses badly it's ball two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Hard hit ball to short, right to him. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. At the plate, Brock Holt. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go sorry, into uber cool. swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A.B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Brewer shortstop ahead with a three and one count. Waiting next, there's Christian Yelich. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Hayward has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So coming to the plate, Christian Yelich. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. One and two for Christian Yelich. One and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. That's popped up. But this will land untouched. Fouled off. To first. Rizzo was there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now Coming to the plate now, Keston Hiura. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Hayward. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Alex Claudio has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 58, Alex Claudio. So now to the plate, Ian Happ. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Claudio is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. 3-2 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step now for out number one. Standing in, Jason Kipnis is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. The 1-1. One -one. Liner toward right center. But this will hang up long enough for the center fielder to run under it as he makes the play for the second out. David Bodie will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. for Chicago. Number 13, David Bodie. 5-1 our score as we play the eighth. Go. 
high in the air down the right field line. After it is Yelich. But this will land untouched. Here now the 2-2. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. Kyle Ryan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 56. Kyle. Coming to the plate now, Omar Narvaez. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Hit on the ground to short. There's Baez. No problem here. One away. So here is Avisayo Garcia. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Five runs, eight hits. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. And that's going to be high two and two now. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. The third base Trying to number pick seven. things up where we left off. Everett. Eric Sogard, two for three with a double on his line so far. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. The first baseman, number 12, Justin. Into the box, Justin Smoke. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And Kipnis will put this one away, and that ends the inning. Josh Hader will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Jed Jerko is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Now the 2 1. Jed Jerko. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. So that will bring up Jason Hayward. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the one and one pitch. And that's taken for a called strike two. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jason Hayward is retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. Tonight's game comes to an end. 5-1 to one, the final score. The Brewers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Brent Suter gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Hugh Darvish was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the Show Nation. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Brewers five runs on nine hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For the Cubs, one run, seven hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.